So I learned that if the kabocha sounds hollow, which I think it does, uh, then it's ready. So I am going to use this for today's recipe. I'm going to make a kabocha scampi pasta. All right, so whenever I work with kabocha, I always just microwave it. It makes it so much easier to cut. So I have this in here for two minutes. Um, and then we'll take it out and we'll see if it's ready to cut through and we'll get on with the next step. All right, so I'm just testing out the kabocha and it's really hot, so be careful when you handle it. This was two minutes and it's still super hard. So I'm just gonna do another two minutes here. All right, I've also got some shrimp defrosting. I am doing a quick thaw. So just gonna run cold water over this frozen shrimp until it thaws out. And then just waiting on that kabocha. All right, this is ready. It's really hot and it's soft. It's ready to be cut. So we're just gonna, <laughs> gonna take it out for now and let it rest. And I'll show you how it's how we know it's also ready to this this thing should just peel off really easily. Now it is hot, so I'm trying not to touch this area. Ooh, that's hot. Let's see if I can do it with this. You can also smell the kabocha, but you can smell that it's ready. It's a little tough. This, this one is rooted in there. Anyways, um, when you touch it, you can see, well, you can't see it on the camera, but it's, um, when you touch it, it's soft in some areas, like that one right there. I don't know if you can see my thumbprint. Yep, I see my thumbprint there, so it's ready. I'm just gonna let this cool off for a bit before we start cutting it. All right, I just cut open the kabocha. I don't know if you can see all that steam. Yep, so it is really hot. We're just gonna try to get this done as uh, safe as possible so I don't burn myself. <laughs> all right, we're gonna cube it up. All right, guys, I got it all cubed up. That's how it's looking in here. It's two cups. I'm gonna save the this half for later. I have my shirataki noodles boiling here and we're gonna start the scampi now. All right, next up, I've got eight tablespoons of butter, just a block of butter and four cloves of garlic. Now I know that looks like a lot more than four cloves, um, but I took four cloves off the garlic bulb and there were a bunch of little ones. So it might be a little over four cloves, but that's okay. <laughs> so we'll um, get this going and then I'm gonna add the kabocha in. So the kabocha, since it's been microwaved, it's pretty much already cooked through. There are some areas of the kabocha that are a little uh, still hard. So we're just going to tenderize that and then we'll add the shrimp and we'll be ready to go. All right, I got the two cups of kabocha in there. We're gonna let that saute, let it soften, and then we will add the shrimp. I also have some garlic salt here, some parsley, and I have extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna drizzle that at the very end. Okay, that has been cooking for about two minutes. I just added the shrimp. It looked like majority of the kabocha is pretty much tenderized, so I added the shrimp here. I'm gonna start seasoning. I'm gonna go in with garlic salt and parsley. I have left here. I'm all up. So, there we go. All 
Alright, I also have some white pepper. I'm going to put a little bit of this in there as well. Alright, I've turned off my heat and I am going to add the noodles into the pan. Okay, I am cutting the noodles down so that it's easier to stir. So I'm do that. All right, and I'm going to top this with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Working with one hand here. Tablespoon. Now, if I had more parsley, I would add parsley. I'm out of everything today, so I would add lemon juice. You could also do a white wine if you wanted to, if that fits your macros. I'm not, I have to look into that. I'm not sure if there's like sugar or, or carbs in white wine, so I take that back. Um, but I mean, there's you know all kinds of things you could do with this dish. So uh, I'm also going to top it off with some parmesan, and here we go. I'll top this off with some parmesan. There we go.